to tour the school, you might want to see what we look like. I'll be loving to do that personally for you. You can call me directly at 600-5261. I'm in the building lots of the time. That's the main number, 600-5000. Keep that in mind. We want to talk to you. We want to show you our school. We want to show you the job we're doing for young people in and around the Flint, Michigan area. All right, let's move on a little bit with some things that we have going right now. Marcus, you might know more than I do about where where our kids are. This Our basketball team is in St. Joseph. So did you hear if we have won our first game? They won the first game. Do you remember who we played or anything? Marcus doesn't know that, but he knows we won the first game. So that means tonight we're in the championship? Okay, and that would be probably around 7 o'clock. I think so. Yeah, I, th I think so. I, last year or the year before, I drove there. St. Joseph, way on the west side. I had to pack my lunch, my dinner, and my breakfast to get there. But I made it in time for the game, Marcus. And uh, that was a great tournament. I think we won that one as well. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, we also have, uh, in fact, today, today, everybody, we had our first community breakfast at our school, 9.30. We'll do that every Saturday morning. Some wonderful, wonderful people were there to help us from Vermont Christian Church. And uh, we thought we might be able to get one or two on the radio today, but due to complications and a meeting at 11 o'clock at their church, they were unable to uh, come and talk about what we did this morning. But every uh, Saturday, 9.30 in the morning, we'll serve breakfast to, to, for community, for neighborhood, for our, to our families at school, whoever would like a breakfast, come on by 9.30 to 10.30 serving time. And we are rotating that with five or six churches who will uh, assist us in uh, the volunteering to, to serve and to set up and all the things that are necessary to make a breakfast a very successful program. And I promised our good, devoted people at Vermont Christian that I would talk about their uh, common unity, sit down with us, community holiday dinner. And that'll be next Saturday, December 17th, from 2 to 6 p.m. or <laughs> until the food runs out. <laughs> that's what they say. And that's in the Courts Fellowship Hall, right at their church at 1201 Lippincott Boulevard. Of course, Pastor Jonathan Graves is the pastor. He was there this morning, and uh, we had a great time with him. He was talking with uh, folks that came in to eat. And he's just very, very down-to-earth pastor and uh, a great deliverer of the word of the Lord to his congregation. So again, Vermont Christian Church, uh, Disciples of Christ, the Diaconate Ministry, probably sponsors the community, Common Unity. Sit down with us, community holiday dinner, next Saturday, December 17th. And I might just drop in and, and uh, say hi to those folks over there and maybe have a dinner with them as well. So we, we thank Vermont Christian for helping us this morning at our, uh, our annual, our annual, our daily, weekly, weekly community breakfast at uh, our school at 2820 South Saginaw Street. Sorry to get the commercials out of the way, folks. We have another event we're attending tomorrow, University of Michigan Flint commencement. One of our kids, one of our graduates of the high school is graduating. They offered me, out of the kindness of their heart, an admittance ticket to that co to that uh, event, and uh, we're going to go and see Byron White graduate. Marcus, do you remember Byron White? Okay, he was a very outgoing young man. In fact, I don't know what his degree is in right now. I can't recall, to be honest with you, but we will be there to cheer him on and support him. In fact, his uh, gorgeous sister was here with us last week. And his mother was here but wouldn't come in. <laughs> he sat in the parking lot. Mom, if you're listening, I got you again. Well, okay. Uh, Jesse on the radio, that's how I'm supposed to call you. Are we doing all right? Yes. And I think I've alerted you. We're, we have an on-the-spot reporter somewhere in Michigan right now. Okay. And they're going to be calling in. So I want to alert you to that telephone call. Okay. And whoever that person is, and of course I have no idea who it is. Okay. <laughs> chuckle, chuckle. <laughs> but we're going we're gonna to have them uh, uh, interrupt our program. But let's, Mr. Baldwin, we got to talk first with Paul Herring because he has to get out of here for a quick minute. Paul, why don't you slide on over? We got a big event, big event, big event coming on. It's called Kwanzaa. I've Kwanzaa, heard of it. I've Kwanzaa. Heard of it. When and where and give us all the scoop, partner. Oh, well, you know, uh, Flint Odyssey has stepped up this year. And really? They've opened up their house and let us yes. make it. Great. On MLK? Yeah, right okay. there at Marion Hall. Yep. Uh, it's that building with the big mural yep. on the side. Got of it. it, got it. We're going to be down there all seven days uh, between the 26th of December and January 1st. From 6.30, I believe, to 9.30 that, to That's talk. very notable of them to do that. That's I, great. I really appreciate yeah. it. Ronald Brown over there, there's some really good people. Okay, thank they, you. They really are. So we're really looking for people to get involved. Um, we need uh, a 
couple more hosts. We've got like four of the seven nights booked. You got your jammy. What? That's 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 something about business, isn't it? You jammy. <laughs> Cooperative doing? economics. Okay, You're close. I'm, I'm close. Who <laughs> jama? You jama. There you okay. go. Almost got him, Mr. Bolton. <laughs> Almost got him. Go ahead. We'll be there, and uh, we're we're looking for organizations to step up. I kind of had an epiphany the other night, and I said, you know, Kwanzaa should be almost like a a recruiting camp mm -hmm. for community organizations. You know, you got all these community organizations all going in different directions, doing great and wonderful things, mm -hmm. but they all have the same need: people. And us as people, we have the need, too, to give back to our community. Mm -hmm. So if we could do a wholesale, one-stop shopping kind of thing at the Kwanzaa celebration, and we get all the mom-and-pop groups, all the folks that are cleaning up neighborhoods or mm -hmm. planting flowers or helping people uh, get off drugs or mm -hmm. homeless people, if we could get them to participate in Kwanzaa and use it as an opportunity to recruit people, mm -hmm. I think it would be a good idea. What do you think? Was that uh, a good that's epiphany? Marvelous. That's marvelous. Uh, wow, that's a big word for a Saturday morning. I like that. that was, <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I, I was up all night <laughs> Well, you were up all night. I know that. I don't know if you were smelling it or not. Now, you called me. At what time did you call me? I think about 1230 when 12 I saw your van outside the school. Hey, man, oh, man. drives by and says, go home. How's that for a, how's that for a friend? Huh? I thought okay. you were waiting for permission. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the bell didn't ring. <laughs> well, let's, let's... I need to tell people they can call me. Yeah, at, let's do that, please. Two three nine two nine zero one. If they're an organization or group that wants to get involved with this year's Kwanzaa celebration, now, is there a cost to get involved? There is, and what we do is a cooperative economics. Right. Each group that hosts an evening puts one hundred and ten dollars into the kitty, and what we do with that one hundred and ten dollars is we create the harvest table, and a part of the Kwanzaa celebration is the Harvest the Fruit Festival. Okay. So we have a beautiful table with every kind of fruit imaginable, from oh pecan, squash to kiwi. Oh my. And we give the table out every night. So we have to replenish it every, every day. day. So we use the money to do that as well as some of the printing, the tickets and whatnot. It's really set up to be a cooperative economic. See, what we do, an organization gives us $110 to participate. They get an hour during the Kwanzaa mm -hmm. program and 100 tickets. And these tickets uh, range in price. It's 50 cents for a kid. Dollar fifty for an adult, mm -hmm. or three dollars and fifty cents for a whole family. Very, very nominal. So, very if sixteen nominal. people yeah. want to come in on one three dollar and fifty yeah. cent ticket, if you want to lie to me and say we're family mm -hmm. to come to a Kwanzaa celebration, mm -hmm. I want you there. Well, you're my third cousin, aren't you? Uh, on my father's uh, yeah, brother's side. Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> we got a note here. Our our phone caller is on the line. Is she on the okay. phone? So that means that I can escape by giving the phone number one yeah, more let's, time. Let's do a very uh, significant right. close here. All right, I'm gonna. I'm going to play to the camera okay. because I'm a camera kind of guy. Yes, you, know? you are. In all things purely social, we can be as separate as the fingers, yet one as the hand in all things beneficial to our mutual progress. Now, that's not my quote. That came from Brother Booker T. Washington. Okay. And we want you guys to come on out to the Kwanzaa celebration. Give me a call, 810-239-2901. And it's going to be Enjoy at Marion Hall. Marion Hall on MLK, Marion Hall MLK. On MLK thanks to Odyssey University. University. Yes, thanks okay. to Odyssey House and yep. Ron Brown. Okay. Thanks, Art. Very Your best. Good, sir. Our pl <laughs> how, how can I argue with that statement? <laughs> Although thousands will. There's no doubt about it. Well, Mr. Baldwin, we might get you on the radio, or we might not. We'll dedicate the last few minutes to you, I guarantee you. We have an on-the-spot reporter out there somewhere. On the spot, are you, are you there? Hello? Is that Mary? Hi, Mary. You on live on the radio. Whoopie doo. Tell us, dear. Where are you today? What are you doing? What are you seeing? Excited, girlfriend. Well, I'm at the Kwanzaa celebration. Oh, Kwanzaa celebration. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. For what? What's going on? Oh, for the celebration. I'm looking for help with Christmas this year. All right. Uh, I did. Aren't you the young lady that called in last week? And you had reported last week that everything was really well. You were collecting good funds, and, and the people were joyous and, and celebrating and treating the Salvation Army with financial kindness. Might we give a similar report today? Yes, they are very uh, kind to me, and I've had quite a few people donate this morning, and it's not even afternoon yet. And, in fact, you've got a couple of them, I think, you shared with me. Something about a hot cocoa. Could you share that little story or two? Oh, definitely. Uh, a kid, no more than 14 years old, had punched in the wrong section and had donated to me while I was out ringing the bell. And um, they walked back in, him and his sister, they walked back in to try to go to the other side of the mall. And ten minutes later, he's bringing me back cocoa, and that just really made my day. Now, 
actually, he meant that for me, I think, Miss Sanders. I'm sorry? I think he meant that for me. Oh. <laughs> well, you weren't out there that day. Well, he, he remembers when I was. That was it, yeah. Well, Mary, that's good. And again, we're kidding a little bit. Folks, she's out there every day. Uh, normally, her shift is 10 to 2, I'm pretty sure. And uh, she's out the outside of Sears. And, of course, it's not 62 degrees out there and balmy. So, Mary, how's the weather? Are you really cold, hon? Yeah, I'll probably invest in uh, a face mask for the near future because it's starting to get a little bit colder. You mean like a ski mask, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I know I you... I hide my face. Well... <laughs> used to seeing me. Yeah, well... I have uh, acquired quite a bit of relationships out here with the mall walkers and the employees that work here. Thank you, sir, for your donations. Well, I know that you, I've, I've watched, I've stood with you, and I, I would say you're rather exemplary. Uh, Jesse on the radio, she, she opens doors for people, and she says thank you all the time, and Merry Christmas, and, uh, and she, instead of Happy Holidays, she says Merry Christmas, which I totally support when I ring. And uh, Mary, that's wonderful. Um, uh, thank you for yeah, that report. To every face that comes through Genesee Valley or that comes out of Genesee Valley, and um, a guy, one of the mall walkers today, walked past me, and he just stopped and made my day again today and said that I'm the nicest person he's ever met out in his whole life. Well, he never met me. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sister Sanders, thank you for this report. We're going to put you on next Saturday as well. It's so good to hear um, such good things. And God bless you as you stand there. I'm sorry it's cold, but uh, again, you're doing warm things for, for great for people, and I hope that that will keep you warm in, as well. So thank you. Anything in closing you'd like to say, dear? There's still a lot of good people in Flint. I just want to thank everybody that's Excellent helped me. Point. Uh, with my donations and yes. standing out here in the cold and brought me cold, cold. I just wanted to thank those people. Okay. I don't know them by name. They know me by name. Okay. But well, I don't know them by name. Excellent point. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to drop by and see Mary this morning up until 2 o'clock, she's out on the outside of this one of the Sears entrances there. So ask her, are you Mary? And then um, she'll probably tell you Merry Christmas right back. So, Mary, thank yeah, you for your... Right, and I'm going to make sure that they have a better day if they're not having a good day. So. <laughs> well, thank you. We've got to leave you now, so thank you for your time, and, and we'll talk with you again, Miss Sanders. Bye-bye, dear. Thanks for having me on. Sure. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, wow. Jesse, on the radio, that's what I'm supposed to call you, I'm told. So, how did that go, Jess? Pretty good, huh? Yeah. I love that First time I've done that in a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's so good that she's doing such a great job for the, for the Army. Well, Fred, I think she's one of our parents, of course. Right. And I'm talking now to Fred Baldwin, who works at our school. We'll, tell, we'll have him tell you what he does and how he does it and all that stuff. But um, she's one of our parents, and she's a, she's a quiet lady. But when she gets with a uniform on for the salvation, she's got that little apron. She just is in bounty and, and having a great time. And I think that's reflected in the donations that she receives. So, folks, look her up at the Valley. And I think you'd be very pleased with the way she treats you verbally. Fred Baldwin, how do you do? Good morning, good morning. Good Tell morning, us who you are, what you got cooking, what you do for the school, and let's see where that goes oh. from there, my good friend. Okay, my name is Fred Baldwin, but uh, they call me Mr. B. Makes it easy for the kindergartners. Sure, I'm a kindergarten yeah. pair pro, and uh, I enjoy it a lot. And I like what Mary says it's about relationships. Uh -huh. And I get uh -huh. relationships not only with the children, but with the parents. Yeah. And they are some good people in Flint, yeah. and IF is a is, is a wonderful place to work. Mm -hmm. and, uh, work with the kindergartens, we allow them. We are able to establish the foundation for them to launch out into their future, which is very important to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I've seen you on your knees, and I, I don't know if you were praying at that time, but you're on your knees putting little boots on the kids yeah. and, and button them up, and then you're counseling them. Other times, uh, you know, there's tears coming out of some little guy's eyes yeah. because you had to discipline them. So I love the way you, you know, you get right down on them, and, and I don't mean on them in a mean way, but you get right down and look them in the eye and sit down and counsel them. Um, that's so good that you, you do that. I, I imagine... Um, parents appreciate that a little bit. Can they you do. Talk about that a little yeah, bit. The parents, yeah, the they, parents, they, they really appreciate the, the love and the discipline that we give to the kids. Mm -hmm. That, you know, we want the best for them. They, and kids know when you love them. 
Yeah, they know when you genuinely true. love them, yeah. and, and they know Mr. B loves them, and I love their parents, and I love art. Art's crazy, <laughs> but uh, the staff at IAF is awesome. Marcus, can you edit that remark? I, I wish you would. Thank you very much. Okay, and uh, the staff at IAF, they're awesome. Everybody's awesome, from the secretary to uh, uh, the nurse to art to the janitors. Yeah. Everybody is, it's a team. Yeah, we got, we got some good people. We just Thank enjoy you. each other. We smile, we laugh, we have fun, we, 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 we value the children. And you know what's happening while that's going on? They're getting smarter. Yes, they are. Okay. yes, they are. Yes, they are. Instructionally, what, what do you do? And I know the teacher teaches, of course, mm -hmm. but how do you support those teaching activities of hers? And tell a teacher, tell, give them your teacher's name. Oh, I work okay. with Ms. Uh, Goodar, Amanda Goodar. And uh, what I do is uh, help to uh, encourage the children mm -hmm. in their uh, work and uh, to assist her in making mm -hmm. sure that I can give individual attention to those that need it. Mm -hmm. And to those that don't, I make sure I go around and encourage mm -hmm. them and let them know they're doing a great job. Mm -hmm. That Ms. Goodar loves them and I love them. Mm -hmm. And then we have a great staff of kindergarten teachers, you know, from... Uh, Mr. Thomason to Ms. Arco and um, Ms. Guerra. Who would I miss it? Mrs. Uh, and our pair of pros that work on the floor, Ms. Wallace and Ms. Jefferson, Ms. Wheat. Ms. Wheat, Ms. Yeah. Ms. Warby, Ms. Wheat's been the first graders. Ms. Wheat was, has been with us since the first day the school opened. She's awesome. And she is so precious. Yeah. We work together as a team yeah. and working with the children is just, it's, I come in in the morning and it's like, good morning, Mr. B. We love you. <laughs> Now, I'm going to brag about you for a moment. We had a child that missed the bus last, was it last week? Or yeah, last week. Was, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got involved in that, but somehow I was going to take that little guy home to make sure he got home safely, of course. I mean, anybody would do that. And lo and behold, who returns to us from his home about nine miles away, but mm -hmm. Mr. Baldwin comes by and then we made that home call together. So I want to thank you publicly for going really out of your way. You were home already and you returned to our school, Jesse, on the radio. Mm -hmm. And we uh, he was going to take the child home. I already kind of had it all organized that we could take him, so he jumped in with me and off we went. But that's that's commitment and dedication. You were already home, drove back, and then we took that little rascal home. Yeah, we did. And uh, I want to commend you. I did already, of course, you know, privately, yeah. but I'm doing that now on the radio. I think that was a wonderful <laughs> gesture on your part. Okay. This is part of my job. Now, listen, there's another part to Mr. Baldwin that I just learned about a few minutes ago. Yes. What, what did you do before you got to our place, my friend? I worked for Chrysler for 13 years. Now, of course, that means Detroit. Did you Detroit. live in the city as well? No, I drove. I commuted back and forth from Grand Blanc. What did you do in, at Chrysler? Again, I have no oh, idea. I, I worked on the line, but I, I was offered the opportunity to be a supervisor. Okay. But they paid for my schooling at Baker, so I have a good for you a bachelor's degree in marketing and management. Oh my my, you do. Mm -hmm. And oh. uh, uh, graduated with a three six seven. Oh wow, why, well, Mr. Baldwin? These yeah, they are things I don't know. Yeah, well, Chrysler treated you well. Yes, they did, yeah. and then. Uh, and they're doing well now too. I yeah, think. they're doing very they're, well they're right now. Back, as is GM. Yeah, and Ford and Ford as well. Yeah, they're all coming back. And we need that. Since city, our city needs a Detroit, the nation needs, needs a shoot. Let's yeah. just be honest. Yeah. Uh, so you were a Chrysler employee. What did you do online? Did you? What part did you uh, handle, sir? Um, I put in the, the carpet. I put in the carpet mm -hmm. to establish the vehicle, going down the line to mm -hmm. assemble to its completion. Mm -hmm. And then I would assist the plant manager in doing evaluations and inspections on, oh, on vehicles. Yeah. So you were in a position of uh, responsibility and authority, sir. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes. I'm glad to hear that. And it's amazing now that with that kind of a background, I mean, working in, in a General Motors plant, uh, you know, handling equipment and, and machines, and all of a sudden now, why did you come into education? What, what, what channeled you our way? And don't you ever leave. Don't you ever leave. <laughs> never. Raise your right hand. I promise to never leave. <laughs> <laughs> but tell us, how did you get to us, buddy? Well, I started subbing after I left Christ. I took the buyout and uh, working with the... So you're wealthy now, huh? Uh, mm. uh, no. buddy. Oh, buddy. Yeah, I'm, I'm wealthy now. I'm getting my there. Buddy. My buddy's wealthy. Yeah, mm. yeah, getting there. So Maybe we'll go shopping after, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Tell us, and how did I, you make the turn? Just subbing and then it gets... Subbing, then I had a relationship with Lynn. 
sure. over IAF right. and with other schools. And um, I just enjoy the kindergartens more so than the upper school. I like the upper school, but the kindergartens are more, they're pliable and they're fun. Oh, yeah. And I like being funny. And when they walk, they're so cute when they walk. They tell them how we make them walk down the hall. Yeah, they them. have to, they have to um, zip and zip. Zip the lips or put a bubble in it. <laughs> <laughs> and they, their hands are crossed. Hands have to be crossed. Folded up and front. Folded up, yeah. Okay. First cross the hands. Yeah. I yeah. wish our high school kids would do that, Marcus. Yeah, Marcus. Marcus is ignoring me. But now. once they get to, high, uh, to the high school, they don't, they don't walk like that anymore. Do they, Marcus? No, seventh grade, you stop walking in line. <laughs> yeah. You all grown up now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's but, why you wander all over the school. Because they're all grown up, Uncle Jesse. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Well, Mr. Baldwin, thank you. Um, we haven't mentioned anything about your family. You want to share a, a little bit about that? Yeah, I'm married. Well, my wife is named Melissa. Is Hi. she listening right now? Hi, honey. She might be. Okay. And she might be. I think she's at ballet with my daughter. Okay. I have two daughters. Ages. Uh, tell us. Tell us. Uh, Kat, Clarissa is 10. Cassie is 7. Okay. Beautiful. And right. uh, they are. i got two girls. They're wonderful. Okay. A wonderful wife. I tell you, now, if, if they're in ballet, then they do these little um, performances. Yes. Would you invite me to one of them? Sure, come on. The youngest one, she's going to be performing at the Whiting in January. Oh, my God. And then my other daughter's going to be performing. Uh, she plays clarinet. She's going to have a band concert in January. Now, do you have a musical instrument? Uh, uh, interest, I should say? Uh, no, I just like listening to music, but yeah. I don't play any. Right. I, I used to play the clarinet and the guitar. Wow. Okay. I'm learning... Jesse on the radio, I'm learning all kinds of stuff about this guy. This is wonderful, yeah. And did you did you give a shout out to your wife here, didn't you? Oh, she, yeah. she might not be listening I, because of uh, I love you, Snickerdoodles. <laughs> <laughs> Snickerdoodles. Okay. <laughs> this is an adult show, sir. <laughs> Snickerdoodles. I love that. Okay, that's funny. In fact, I have to shout out to Miss um, Miss Planter was trying to help me put a little program together. So, Sister Planter, I appreciate uh, you know, Miss Sister Player. It is not Planter, Sister Player. I know if you're listening this morning. She tried to get her son to come on the radio with us, but he was a little, a little reluctant at the time. So, uh, well, maybe we can get him again. But she was working hard for trying to get me uh, someone to come on. So, I want to personally thank you, uh, Sister Player. Thank you very kindly. But you know what? The parents yes, really they they really appreciate the staff. At I. Uh, I get that get compliments a lot from the, the parents. Okay, a lot. And I do as well, meaning on behalf of the staff members and the teachers. Yeah, because I talk with them maybe uh, in the parking lot and mm -hmm. places like that. And and uh, often they say, "Listen, you guys are doing a great job. Thank you very much." And I ask them when they're sitting there to say, "Hey, how how we doing?" What you mean? Well, how how we doing? Are mm -hmm. we educating your child right? And mm -hmm. are we meeting your expectations? And generally, uh, I will get a very complimentary uh, remark regarding their child's teacher or the, right. the program we offer or whatever that might be. Okay. Well, let's um, bounce down, I think, to um, Vermont Christian Church again. I want to put another plug in for them. They were so kind to us this morning. Uh, and uh, Vermont Christian has on the next Saturday, December 17th, between 2 and 6 p.m., they have a common unity program. A sit down with us, community holiday dinner, and I might be sitting down with them at some point. Mm -hmm. And uh, Pastor Graves was so um, so wonderful by coming by this morning and chatting with the folks eating the breakfast. And I'm sure that program will grow. And about every five weeks or so, they'll be back to, to host another breakfast for us. So we'll keep you posted on that. I should also, um, Mr. Baldwin, talk a little bit about Kettering University. Mm -hmm. We have some kids that go there, of course, and some are on scholarships and partial scholarships. I was invited this morning um, by one of the instructors and actually the president of the university as well to attend their awards uh, breakfast in which they honored these very, very, very bright kids that uh, you know, they're doing things that uh, academically they're absolutely outstanding, <clears throat> giving awards for... Uh, a thesis called Optimization of Plug-in <coughs> Hybrid Electric Vehicle State Change Direction with the Integrated Lithium-Ion Battery Energy Storage System. Now, I have no idea what that means, but that <laughs> child wrote an essay on that, and it was supposed to be outstanding. So there are several others that are just outstanding kids, and we're so proud of Kettering University, located in Flint, with a recognized worldwide 
they have graduated people. Like today again, I met the president of a, a motorcycle company in Southern California, who mm -hmm. every time uh, comes in and uh, I mean they make I think it's t Toyota motorcycles, like their Honda, Honda motorcycle division. And every time they have an award ceremony like this, he makes the trip in and uh, wow. and uh, meets with kids and, and uh, interviews them and just a host of good things. So Kettering, if there's any alumnus listening, we're very proud of you. And uh, I was there this morning, very fortunate awesome. to be invited back to, to that breakfast. That was my second breakfast I've attended. Okay, well folks, we're <clears throat> nearing uh, completion. And uh, we want to remind you, our school's at 2820 South Saginaw Street. We'll be having a food distribution on December 27th. That's a Tuesday. There's no school that week. School is out, out celebrating the, the Christmas holiday. So uh, we'll be doing that at 10 o'clock in the morning. And uh, the bus, or the bus, the truck will arrive at 10. We'll probably have distribution around 11 or so. So make note of that. Jesse on the radio, how are we doing with time? Are we within a few uh, minutes? Yeah, a couple of minutes left. A couple left. Okay. Yeah. Well, Mr. Baldwin, would you like to have any closing remarks, anything you'd like to say about our school, our, our, our nation, our country, or anything that's on your mind, my friend. The mic is yours. I just think that uh, our area is going to bounce back. I agree. We have a resolve. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I went to, the, went to the Christmas walk this past week, downtown in Sure, sure. It was so many people down there. Yeah. That's a big event. That was, and people were happy. Yeah. And so I know I said, it's life yeah. in this area. Yeah. Well, there is indeed. Despite the economical yeah. setbacks and the difficulties people are having, people generally have hope. Mm -hmm. And IAF, hey, opportunity for your kids to grow. Develop. IAF, that means International Academy of Flint, yeah. folks, if you're not familiar with our briefing, ab abbreviation yeah. of, the, of the name. Yeah, we, we're doing a good job there. We opportunity really are. for your kids to grow and fulfill their potential. I think I might at next program or so, we've received a major, um, it's not an award, but a distinction, a major distinction that we've kept kind of under our hat a little bit. It was in the newspaper, but very quietly in the newspaper. I think we're going to make a, a little bit of a, a big issue about that, uh, maybe in the next week or so. Marcus, any closing remarks from your standpoint over there behind the camera? 6.30 Friday night, folks. If you're interested, Channel 17, Comcast, we are on TV. Come on and look at us and take a look at the handsome, the one and only, the outstanding Fred Baldwin. You can see him almost live because it's about a week later. <laughs> Not that you're almost live doesn't really want to say what I wanted to say, but I think folks have an idea. Jesse, we're about to close, are we? Yes. Okay. Well, folks, as we always do, and thank you for listening today. If you did, we appreciate you very much. we got a great school, and uh, just come on by and check us out. Wherever you are, my friends, if you're walking your dog, if you're talking to a neighbor, if you're jumping up and down in Jamaica, I want you to look at somebody and say, Woo-wee! That is some, some kind of school. school. Goodbye, my friends. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.